Hello again, it's April here and I'm back with a bit of a different video this week. I'm going to be talking about a little time tracking experiment that I've been doing to find more time to make art and tips that I learnt along the way. And there's also some mixed media sketchbook eye candy in the background. So I've been putting this video off for a couple of weeks. My initial idea was to track all of my time for a week and then double the time I spent doing art the next week. Well, three weeks later, I have not been able to double my art time and I realised it's something that I'm just going to have to work on over time and not a few days. It's just not going to be possible. And there's two reasons why I haven't been making a lot of art recently. Number one is I just haven't had enough time. So over the last few months, I started to commute into a new job and that takes about an hour and a half to two hours a day. Then I've also been running a lot more because I'm training for my second marathon. And uh, lastly, I've been trying to eat a bit healthier. So I've been making all my meals from scratch and doing like meal prep and stuff, which means a lot more time spent in the kitchen, cooking and unfortunately cleaning. And then secondly, my art focus has changed. So the last couple of years I just doodled in my sketchbook and I made a video every week on my sketchbook and it was all like very, very relaxed and it didn't matter what I was drawing as long as I was just drawing and having fun. But now I'm trying to actively improve my art. So my art time is like split in between studying, so watching videos, exercises, doing classes with SPS Learn, practicing anatomy, that kind of stuff. And then I also try to make a video a week for YouTube because I really enjoy doing that. And then finally, you just have to make art for yourself and enjoy it, right? But lately, I felt like I haven't been spending any time actually drawing a painting. So I decided to spend a week time tracking everything that I did. So I found this app on the Play Store. You can probably also get it on the Apple phone. <laughs> the Apple phone. You know, that, that famous one. And the app is called a time log and it's pretty cool it's pretty simple you just press these little buttons here these icons on the screen and it starts tracking the time and then when you uh, stop them it stops the time and you can make up your own little icons too so i made up art and uh, run in so i tracked my time all week every second of the day i'm not quite sure how my phone survived but it did and the weekdays were pretty standard so it was sleeping commuting working commuting run dinner tv bed so when you look at my weeknights, I had about an hour to make art and sometimes I was just too tired to do that. So I managed to do eight hours in that first week, which is not terrible by any means. I think it's pretty good, but because I really want to get better at art and really try and focus, I think I need to try and find more time to draw. So I tried to find areas where I could bump up the time and I've been pretty semi-successful at this. I haven't gone as far as taking my sketchbook to the toilet yet. And I've also learned a little bit from this experiment, so I popped together five tips for finding more time to make art. So tip number one, if you track your time, it might actually make you feel better. When I first started tracking all my time, I thought it would make me super depressed, but it actually made me feel better about the amount of time I spent on art. At the start of the week, I thought I'd have all this free time that I just like spent watching television or scrolling the internet or doing something else that's considered a waste of time. But I actually spent pretty much every hour of the week doing something. Whether it was housework, or cooking dinner, or going for a run, it was all stuff that I had to do or wanted to do. And the only free time I could have switched for art was like the hour of television I watch each night. And I wasn't about to lose that because I like watching television every night. So maybe if you feel like you need to stop wasting time and do art instead, look at the ways you're actually spending time and you might be surprised like I was, but even realise you don't want to sacrifice playing an hour of a video game or reading a book or going to the gym because that stuff is important too if it makes you happy and it keeps your mental health going. Life isn't all about one thing, you know? Gotta change it up a little bit. And my tip number two is that sometimes all you can do is grab time in between things. So for me, it was about 20 minutes in the morning. I would drive to work a little bit early just to make sure I get a parking space because I'm really paranoid about that kind of stuff. And then I would have about 20 minutes in the car where I would just draw my iPad. And then I also did this at lunch as well and another 20 minutes in the evening if I had the time and then boom, you got an hour a day. So number three was to have the right materials on hand. So I love drawing and painting and making a mess at home, but there's no way I'm going to be taking my art materials out to do that if you just have to catch time in between things. I downgraded a lot. So during the week I was completely on my iPad, which I found a lot easier to pull out at lunch for 15 minutes rather than get out my sketchbook and my pencil case and all that nonsense. But this is completely personal, maybe you just like using a ballpoint pen or a mechanical pencil. I think the most important thing is to keep it streamlined so you're most likely to draw when you have a free second. And number four was uh, take a look at your schedule, which could be a little bit boring, but I think it's important. So we all have different things going on in our lives and you can probably see patterns in your week where you're busier or where you're not. 
So for example, for me, I ran Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. By the time I got home from work, went for a run, had a shower, made dinner, ate. It was like 10 p.m. and there's no way I'm gonna sit down and draw. I was like way too tired. So for the last few weeks, I've given myself a pass on those days. I watch television or play a video game or read a book instead. And then on Monday and Friday, I know I have more free time. So I'll try and draw for two hours instead of one hour. And you don't need to go crazy and track all your time like I did, but if you're just conscious of the days when you're busier, you're less likely to be mad at yourself when you can't fit in that extra sketchbook page. And I think this is super helpful to have a plan, but also keep it realistic. And this leads me to my last tip. And tip number five is don't beat yourself up. So you're gonna have a busy week, a week where you have to stay late at work or where you have three assignments due at school, or you have friends around for dinner, or your kid is sick and you're up with him all night long, or like me, you just found out that Lucifer, the television show, exists and you just need to watch all four seasons in a month. So go with the flow and don't beat yourself up if you can't find the time or you need a night off. Next week, maybe you'll have more time. Just do a bit more art. I think the most important thing is to enjoy the time you have, even if it's only a few minutes a day. Enjoy making art, exploring and learning. And that's everything I learned last month. I'm not tracking my time anymore, but I'm trying to be more conscious and find space in the day to make art. And if you guys have any tips or tricks on how you find time to make art, share it below and we can all help each other to be more creative. And that's the finished sketchbook page, which is a couple of little mixed media portraits today, which were super fun to make. So that's all for today and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.